This is the Blackmagic Ursa Cine EVF. You're watching Cinedy, supported by B and H and CVP. Hi guys, Cinedy here at NAB 2024 again at the Blackmagic Design booth with Craig. How are you? Doing very well, thank you, Nina. We just recorded a half-hour video that you've probably already seen about the Ursa um, Cine 12K, but we'll just do a short additional one about their new Ursa Ursa Cine EVF. Ursa Cine EVF, yes. And I wanted to do a separate video on this because as a product by itself, it's very interesting. So you designed this for the Ursa Cine, but it's also working on the new Pixis camera, right? Yes, it will. Yeah. Um, we've redesigned and completely sort of reevaluated the original EVF system, maybe in two parts. Um, the first is the rigging. So we've got these fantastic new um, rigging systems and quick release mounts and controls where you can then position the EVF as needed around the camera itself, um, depending on whether you want it forward facing or you want to bring it to the rear of the product. Um, really, really high engineered and the quality of them is fantastic. Whereas the previous EVF was more of a sort of, you could pull out and, and rotate, a bit limited, um, like a, maybe an old classic broadcast EVF ENG camera style. This is a Cine system with the, the EVSF now being a separate optical module. Um, and then within the EVF housing itself, uh, it's a new micro OLED display, 1920 full color, um, four optic uh, diopter. So it's nice and sharp and clean within it. And then across the top, um, we've now got six buttons um, on here. So you've got some camera control and a record push, and you've got three function buttons you can set up. So if there's any kind of customization you want on there, just add that on as well. Now the, the nicest and most Innovative thing, I guess, for a viewfinder and this thing is that it's connected via USB-C, which is a very neat single cable solution as well. You don't need separate power. Uh, what's the thought process behind that? Similar to what we've done on the pocket cinema cameras previously. So we had the, the, the micro EVF that we had on those. Um, and some of you guys might have noticed that we, we've used until to build an offset bracket so you could take the USB-C off. Um, it looked a bit uh, clunky at times, but it was a fantastic option. But bringing that forward, it means that we've got um, data and power through a single cable. Um, and then you've got the clarity and the precision of what we can send from the camera through to the, the viewfinder. Um, the cable then, you know, if you wanted to take this EVF from this particular mountain and bring it back, you don't have to then worry about cable. And so you can use USB-C cables. Um, obviously, this is a lockable one because we don't want it to be dropping out. But you've got some flexibility there in the EVF mod module itself can be moved around the camera head uh, with the USB-C giving the data display and the, the power coming through to it. Very nice. I know you designed this for your own cameras, but that's you know one of the main things that people always ask us about. There is a severe lack of EVFs in the market that can be used with any camera. Is there anything technical limiting this thing to be used with other manufacturers' cameras? There's nothing that would lock that out. It's not proprietary. It, it isn't that it would only speak to a Blackmagic camera. Um, if there's third-party cameras out there that have a USB-C port that can send the display port information out and would power uh, to the right regulation, then there's a possibility. But there's certainly nothing that, that would prohibit that as far as I'm aware. Very nice. Um, pricing availability? 16.95 and will arrive with the Ursa product uh, in May. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Cinedy for a lot more like magic design videos. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, Ursa Cine 12K, Ursa Cine 17K, and Pixis camera. Did I forget anything? Um, and of course, a lot, a lot of other videos from NAB 2024. Stay tuned and be subscribed to our YouTube channel if you want to see all of them. Thanks for watching.